I went to the house of this year and as I got the redemption camp, I entered and I lay down on the bed and I was on WhatsApp. I had gotten words already that two angels were coming and are going to be moving each time I begin to chant. And I'm seeing that that's reason for shifts of atmosphere very quickly once I start chanting. I'm wondering the atmosphere just shifts. Has anybody noticed that before? Because of those two beings that are standing here, I'm now more conscious that they are here. I'm not just singing. They are here and they move once I begin. I didn't know. Me too, I didn't know. And it's one day you will know something, Abby. When you now know, it's not doing like you know. That's why I can tell you now that there will be breakthrough today. Because I'm not standing alone. Are you following? I don't know how people do it. You'll be seen. You still not see shift your consciousness. I don't know how people do it. Everything I know, most of the things I know, is what people even saw and said. I didn't even see it. Is somebody following? How much more if I see? Are you kidding? How much more if I see it? I'm not be looking for trouble on the road everywhere, slapping people about. Because I'm looking for trouble. I'm trying to see how we can practicalize this thing. Do you know how much I've been waiting for someone to say stop on the road? Your money or your life. Do you know how long I've been expecting that? I'm not kidding you. God sees my heart. Do you know how long I've been expecting that? Because these guys can't do anything until something like that shows up. And they are waiting for the word. Somebody has told me again. Somebody is holding sword beside me. Somebody said my money or my life. I will choose how that actor drama is going to go. I will speak confidently because I know something, yes or no. So tonight, more than ever before, God is stamping what? Consciousness. Can you say consciousness? Shout it. I know who I am. It's just around me. Now let me give you an advice. You better be very, very free about it. Free, be free to misbehave. As you are declaring it, it's becoming your reality. So don't be shy or coordinated about it. Anyone who can see can tell that the atmosphere is already it's going to shift. Because atmosphere is a product of consciousness as well. I can impose my atmosphere on you by just coming conscious. Declare it. Don't speak in tongues. So don't speak in tongues. Don't speak in tongues. We are not praying. We are declaring. We are, we are, we are, we are forcing ourselves to that reality. Angels on my right hand, declare it. Angels on my left hand. Now tell someone by your side, there are too many. Look at them. Kill again. Only me, all these angels. Look at them now. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Count them. Help me count them. Help me count. Count. Can you see them? Look at all the no space everywhere. Only my angels alone. This place is full. It's full. No space. Tell your angels to shoot. My angels are full. They need space. They need space. This place is too crowded. The guys are having angels. When I talk, they move. Help yourself, oh, help yourself. This for yourself. This for yourself. This is for your own life. This for your own life. I have it. Ah! <laughs> ah! Angel behind me. Angel before me. Angels on my right. Angels on my left. Angels everywhere. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Have your seat. Hallelujah. And so when I got there, I was lying down on the bed and just on WhatsApp. She was coming in from Lagos. And so she arrived. And I noticed when the car arrived, I noticed when she opened the main house door. I noticed when she walked in, I could hear. 
So I knew she was coming to come and greet me and welcome me to the house. I noticed that she did not knock on the door. So I just ignored. Maybe she got distracted or something. And after a while, she knocked. I said, come in, ma. She came in and then she was looking at me. <laughs> and the way she was looking at me, it was as if... <laughs> when I check in somebody, I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, no rings. So I was like, mommy, maybe because I've not called her in a while, so she's, you no, know, she's not happy. So she said, ah, no rings. So I said, I'm sorry, ma. Good evening, ma. I missed you, ma. I hugged her and everything. She still looked at me. Eh? No rings. So I was confused. Ah, this woman, she's not happy again. Like, I've, I've really, really annoyed her. I said, Mom, it's not, no, so it's not like that. Said, ah, ah, no rings. So I was wondering, what did I do now? We have not seen this yet now. What are you doing like this? I'm greeting you. You're not even, you're carried away with whatever I did. I didn't do anything now. You know, I was just wondering why is she calling my name like that? All of a sudden, she said, you know, they don't want me to enter inside, though. I said, who? He said, ah, your angels, though. My angels. I said, where? At this door. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't imagine the drama that night. I said, now, now. Not at your words. I said, now, now. She's a seer. That's what I'm saying. A seer. Maybe they're the one that sees. That's why you cannot enter. Someone that cannot see, they will put in door and touch it door normally. It's you that is seeing. So, you know, so I was like, are you serious? No, no, no. She said, yes. That she got to the door and they put their swords together and looked at her. Ah, she was wondering, ah, Lawrence, I cannot enter. And she should have been embarrassed to say that. It was as if the kind of person they are guarding is like serious person inside this room. They have to, they have to be careful. So who are you? So the angel behind that spoke to them and said, uh, uh, you don't know her again. They looked at her. Oh, okay, it's you. And they passed. They cheated for her to pass. So she, see the way you are feeling. It's not even you. Imagine how I felt. <laughs> as she opened the door, that's when she now saw me and she was like, ah, ah, no rest. I said, it's not the same person I know. Lawrence. No that's why she was saying, Lawrence, no eh? Lawrence. No so as she said that, guy, it registered consciousness. Can you say consciousness? Can you say consciousness? Ah, ah, it registered consciousness. So it registered consciousness. All night I was thinking about it, guy. So there, there are two guys here. So there are two guys here. <laughs> what if somebody came to hurt me? This is a Christian. This is a mother. A Christian mother. This is a woman of God. They put salt together to confirm. What if somebody was coming to hurt me? What would they do? Is somebody getting what I'm saying? With that kind of understanding, I was going back to Ibadan. Come and the buyer take where are the arm robbers? They will not rob at the right time. They will be robbing innocent people. They will not come for people who are... Where are these people? They say they are on the road. What time in my life? Never. They have never. Why? Do you know roads that they always pass? Because I want to know. How are we going to be sure that these people are here? They don't have... They don't do anything. I want to have testimony to share now. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Go back to Ibadan. The consciousness had shifted. The traders were to pray for a particular, a particular woman who had a school. She wanted breakthrough. And so I called the teenagers to church. God has really helped those guys. They pray. They pray. So, so I called them together. I said, I need five of you to follow me to go and pray for this woman's school. I took them to the school and I asked them to pray for the atmosphere to open up. And I told them about seven signs that are going to follow their prayer, their intercession. And then I said, I'm going to install one of the boys that are standing beside me to watch with you guys. They are going to go fight with your angels. And they are going to see breakthroughs. And they, amen, amen, amen. You know where we even doubt? They can't doubt because they don't have capacity to doubt. They are young, 
to your heart. Are you getting what I'm saying? They have not seen all the life that you have seen. So I'm telling you, expect seven signs. The first one is that the sun is going to shine its full strength. Second one is that the moon is going to shine its full strength. They are going to pray from Friday evening to Sunday morning. And I told them, you are not stopping this prayer. Even if it's next week, you will continue. Till rain has fallen. And they said, yes, sir. I said, till wind has blown violently. Yes, sir. I said, this is children. <laughs> what if the wind does not blow? The rain does not fall. But I knew that when it comes to young people, you don't tell them have faith. They already have faith. Don't blackmail them. Don't tell them it's because you did not. They already have what? They already have faith. So just declare that it's going to be. They will believe you and it will happen. So I told them, expect these seven signs. Sometimes the bulb can just come on and off suddenly like that. You smell the fragrance of heaven. You hear sounds. They say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So I'll see you guys Sunday morning. You give me the gist of what has happened. Kai. 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 Sunday, Saturday afternoon, I was coming back from Lagos. All the road was filled with dust, with, with, with wind everywhere. We couldn't even see the road. I was wondering, is this tornado or is this what? What's going on? On the express road. The driver in the car was commenting now what's going on now can you whether what kind of weather is this one every i mean we could not see the road we had to be slowed down i'm using lights everywhere and it was sunny before all of a sudden the weather does change then a massive rain began to fall i didn't even think about it that we told is these people then i got a call from them pastor lawrence, pastor lawrence seven cents complete complete ah i said jesus <laughs> The next morning I went to go and see them. Ah, no, no, no. I've never been so proud of those guys. I went to see them. Ah, Kai, Kai, Kai. I said, I need to take these people out. Let's travel abroad. Because when you're hungry for God, when you're hungry for God, and you see, it's beautiful to see those that God has given to you. Begin to do the things you are doing and even more. Begin to scare you with their results. How many of you want those kind of testimonies? I saw practically. I saw practically that we are not normal people. If you just believe, you will see the glory of God. I began to contend more after that. that if this could happen, let me try it again in this meeting. And I'll step out by faith. We are, we are asking God for this particular thing. If these angels are standing here, they're not just standing here for, for, for unfair. The way people are talking, I see they are mighty. And if they are mighty, the least they can do is change weather. What's weather? What's rain? What's wind? So I'm asking for a sign. To just encourage people so they can believe. Let it be wind, let it be rain. God, in 24 hours it happened. I went for the next meeting, I tried it again. Ah, it happened. So, like play, like play. Me, I'm mastering something. The day will come when I will start, I will be wondering uh, where, which way that. It's clear now. What's this guy saying? And they'll be afraid for you. And you'll be laughing. You'll be like, before the end of this meeting, the kind of rain that's going to fall. As a sign that we have broken through. You have not seen that rain before. I used to watch it on YouTube. His name is Dr. Owu. Over 15, 20 years now, that's his sign, rain. I remember I used to watch it when I was in university. I said to myself, it's one day this guy saw that that thing is following him and began to practice and practice on the match. Can you say practice? Can you say practice? Because you must start your practice now. You must start when? Now. You must start trying it out. If I have angels, let's see something. Angels, can you can you ensure that light comes uh, before 4 p.m.? Because I need light for this. You might not work that day. Try it the next day. Are you following? Because consciousness will be shifting. Will be shifting. And it's for your own good that consciousness shifts. The day is coming when Kai, consciousness is going to save you. If you are not conscious, not that day you start saying, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Jesus, Holy Ghost, and your child is it's obvious they are about to die. It's obvious the day, the day has come to for your end. Because those who are conscious, do they beg? No, do they are they afraid? They don't tell me I was conscious, I even declared, and you are afraid. It's not possible. There is consciousness. Hallelujah. There's what? Consciousness. Bishop Edible was in the car with, with one, one other man of God. Pastor Debo also. I'm not so sure. I you know one man came and with a gun like that to point at them and threaten them. Ah, ah, and he said, you are not afraid, you can't. 
You are not afraid. You've not seen his face on any flyer before. <laughs> they moved his shoe and threw it. They go and look for it. They might still looking for the shooting today. <laughs> Since you are energetic, you have you need to walk. You are strange. Can't you can't call. Oh, yeah. Why are you looking for this shoe? <laughs> Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Because of what? Angels. They knew the battalions walking with them. Imagine this man by went to a village, his village, the one that he has dismantled gods from. Idols and everything. And they were angry with him. You scatter all our idols and everything. They're talking about Jesus. We'll kill you next time you come. So he was coming. And he told the policeman that moved with him, see, don't follow me. This one is a spiritual assignment. All right? This will use jazz, not gun matter now. It will not work. So just rest in the other village. I'm go, I'll go with just the driver, my wife. So he went. And he got there, entered the house, and he slept. The next morning, he had a bag on the door. Bah, 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 bah. He opened the door. I said, who is that? What is it? He said, please tell them to go. Tell them to go. He said, tell who to go. He got the call from the Special General of Police as well. I said, hello, sir. Please, sir. We heard the villagers called us and said that you ordered for 700 police officers and 300 mobile policemen sorry 700 army officers and 300 mobile policemen to come and besiege the village first of all we are wondering how you got access to that number of like even that does not guard the governor the governor does not move that new number of people what's happening is there war <laughs> what's taking place because they asked him when they told the IJ, he said, it's not possible. He said, woman brought them. I said, it's not possible. Where are they? What's, what's going on? Who is paying them? Nothing is happening today. So where did he get that number of people from? So he said, he has the man to explain, explain exactly what happened. What happened? He must say, you say you don't know. Why are you doing like this to us, sir? Grown men like us, we come and tell you what you did and you, they will do us as if we are joking. And you know the one that asked all this man? All the villagers were on gunpoint on the floor like this. He wasn't seeing anything. They were all, all on the floor like that. All night. All night on gunpoint like this. Just imagine that. That 1,000 1, people are moving without your instruction. You are already given instruction from today. The angels before me, angels behind me, angels to keep me, angels to fight for me. You have declared it and you are waiting for someone to make a very costly mistake. Because the one day they will call you and say, Sir, please, can you kindly release us? It's been 48 hours now. We're too proud to call you at the beginning, but please, can you please tell the person, because he said it came from you. Please tell this person to leave us alone. We have not left the house. It's 48 hours now. Our plan was to come and capture you, sir. But right now, we are in an entire household. We have not eaten. We have not gone out. Nothing has happened. My children are not going to school. They've locked the gate and they're standing there at the gate. I said, bro, so what happened? Explain what happened. Educate me. How many of you want that kind of life? Imagine how, imagine the consciousness he had after that. He, he, he was not sure before. After that, will he be sure or not? Okay, from that from that village now, he's heading back to his hometown, heading back to where he lives. And then somebody stops him on the road. What will be his response? 